What's up, Max? Love you, bro. This question's for you, man. Like, we know you've had some bangers over the years. You fought endless people. Where does this match rank against your all-time matches? Because, I mean, Justin's a dog. You know he's going to bring it. Like, wh where do you feel as far as the anticipation for it? It's going to be one, bro. It's going to be one. Like I said, Justin got, what, the most uh, bonuses ever? His name is Highlight for a reason. And uh, when you mix Highlight and Bless, you get a Bless Highlight. So I can't wait for it. 100%. My first question is for the highlight, Justin Gaethje, and then I have another question for both of you guys. My first question is, you're fighting one of the most unbreakable guys the UFC has ever seen, but you're the guy that breaks chins. How do you plan on breaking Max Holloway April 13th? By being perfect. Uh, the way that I fought Dustin Poirier, the way that I fought Michael Chandler, being unemotional, content in my situation and, and just, being under those lights, uh, I trust myself to perform, and so I'm going to prepare myself, prepare my legs, because this man is a workhorse, and I can't let him outwork me. Momentum is everything. I got to touch him early. I got to touch him hard, and I got to make it ugly. That's the plan. My second, my, <laughs> my second question is for both of you. You both are two of the most respected people in the sport of all time, in my opinion. What would it mean for your guys' legacy to add one another to the resume? I, th I think uh, he's a legend already. Uh, he doesn't need this fight. This guy has been doing this since 2012. He has inspired every single one of you more than once, myself included. Um... Go ahead, man. Man, man this, guy, <laughs> this guy's a legend, bro. He's a top five, number one contender. Been around in the UFC for a while now. This is a legacy fight written all over it on top of UFC 100, and it's a uh, it's a huge one, man. I'm just I'm just blessed to uh, share the octagon with the guy, so I can't wait. Thank you, guys. I know this man loves it as much as me, and I know that he's gonna try to take my head off, and I would lose all respect if that wasn't the case. And he knows it's coming his way, and you guys are gonna be the you guys get to see it, and uh, it's gonna be. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Yes. In dream fight, any fighter, past or present, somebody you might look up to, who would you want to fight? Can you ask one of them? Because we got like 30 seconds, man. All right, I'll, I'll ask Gaethje. Max Holloway. Like I said, man, legacy. I'm here to create a legacy. This is a legacy fight. Uh, UFC 300 for the BMF belt. First one to ever defend it. Um, special to me. Real quick. Hey, Justin, I'm a big fan, bro. Thank you for coming to California. And uh, I just want to ask you, will you break Max Holloway like you did Tony? I will certainly plan on it, but hey, like I said, he, he will lose my respect if I don't try to f him up. And I would respect him. I would not respect him one bit if he didn't come in there and try to take my head off. That's what we do. I love this f and if he was to take his foot off the pedal because he likes me or something, then that's, that's some bitch and there's no bitch in me or him. So we're going we're gonna to show out, we're going to try to each other up, and uh, we're going to respect each other after. We're going to go in there, hurt each other, and get a drink after. That's what's going to happen. And a bonus. And a bonus. We're going to go in there, we're going to hurt each other, and go drink. I'm not taking it easy for no one. He's not taking it easy for Come no on, one. Come on, John. And we're going to get it done. Justin, a lot of stuff has been made about Max's size moving up to lightweight, but you're around him right now. What do you reckon? Does he look like a real 155 pounder? He looks bigger than me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> he's a big man. I've been I don't him. know about that, but. There uh... you are. You're... He's a big man. Um, I think 155 is his perfect weight class. I think he's the, the best athlete, the best competitor at 155. And, you know, this is. Uh... <laughs> Tough one, bro. It's, tough. it's a tough if, one. If you, guys, if you guys don't, I grew up. I grew up watching this guy. It if, sounds if you guys, so if crazy. you guys don't know, I met Justin. I met Justin uh, before he's in the UFC. I fought uh, Justin Lawrence in Denver, and this man knew that we didn't have a drive around or our car to get around. He drove us around, bro. Anytime we needed somebody, he'd pick us up. So this man's a legend, man. It's uh, it's an honor to share yeah. octagon with him. Here for this guy, bro. You guys, are, you guys are in for a treat. Come UFC 300. My question is for Max Holloway. When you beat Justin and get the BMF title, 
Do you think you should get your rematch against Conor McGregor? Conor McGregor? Brother, none of that matters. First things first, if you never watched this guy fight before, every time they walk out the octagon, they look like they got in a car accident. So that's all I'm worried about. I'm worried about Justin Gaethje and uh, everything after that. We can, we can talk. Yeah, my question is for Justin. Obviously, getting the title uh, shot again is number one priority. And so did you feel like you had to put the BMF belt on the line to make yourself stick out as the number one contender? Uh, you know, everything kind of got messed up whenever Oliver got that cut on his eye. Volkanovski had to step up. Um, you know, I was, I was under the impression that the Poirier fight was a title eliminator. And, and then they announced the Saruki and Oliver fight as a title eliminator. And, you know, I felt left out. But then they, they allowed, you know, I, I get the opportunity to fight on the same night as them. We're going to be higher up on the card. And that means everything in this sport. Um, again, all four of us have a chance to stand out. Um, there's going to be two clear contenders. And I will you know, be one of those come out. Whether it's um, June, October, I will be ready to fight Islam Makachev. He's been calling me out. I'm not sure why that's not happening. But I got to fight Max Holloway now. My life does not exist after April 13th at this point. Do we have a walkout song for your walkout for UFC 300? Do we have it? I don't pick that until the week of. Um, I'm waiting. I'm chilling. Uh, I got some, I got some options. The March by Kimani Marley is an option, but it gets me goosebumps, and I need to stay unemotional, so I don't know if I can go with that one. Well, go with that one definitely, brother. <laughs> go down definitely. My question is for Justin Gaethje. A lot of people have been talking to Alex Volkanovski about being 35 years old and thinning his belt. By April 13th, you will be 35, if not older, fighting a 32 prime year old Max Holloway. Is there any pressure on you for that? Not necessarily. Uh, I feel young. I feel young. I feel hungry. I feel better than I did when I was making terrible choices at like 28. Uh, I'm living right. I'm living clean. And uh, they don't start paying you until the end. So I'm doing all the right things now and I'm enjoying this shit. My next question is for Max Holloway. In the off chance that you lose to Justin Gaethje and Al Germain gets an amazing finish against Calvin Cater, are you up to the chance of getting up against Al Germain? We see what happens, man. We see what happens. Never say never with me, man. You know, first things first is Justin Gaethje. That's all I focus on. What do you guys think of Charles Oliveira versus Armin Sarukian? I love fighting the same night, uh, all four of us have a chance, opportunity to stand out. Uh, luckily for me, I'm the best at that, the most consistent that's ever stepped in there. Uh, there's gonna be two, two contenders coming out of that night and both of us are gonna fight for the title. Holloway, myself, Saruki, and Oliveira. We'll see, we each got a, we, got, we have an opportunity. So we gotta go in there and take it. Yeah, exactly what he said, man. First things first is Gaethje. I got a shot to, uh, you know, prove my case, prove my worth and, uh, We'll get to find out April 13th. With a win over Justin Gaethje, are you looking to challenge Islam Mahasha for the light, the lightweight belt? Like I said, guys, like I said, first things first is Gaethje, but uh, you know that that thing that happened back in Brooklyn a couple years ago, I mean, they call him uh, Khabib 2.0, so we see what happens first come April 13th. All right, my last question, just from Max Holloway. Uh, being that if you do survive that car accident with, uh, with Justin Gacy, how important is it for you to take that belt back, that BMF belt title back to Wainai? Oh, it'd be a lot. It'd mean a lot, man. It'd mean a lot. Being from Wainai, having the BMF would be cool as shit. So, like I said, though, but for you, brother, tough times don't last, tough people do. And yes, you're sir. a representative. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for that for Justin and Max. Uh, I know you guys are very friendly right now, but a lot of people, I know it's not an official press conference, but they want to see you face off. Can we get a little preview of a face off between Yeah! Little face off! Yeah! <laughs> Max, those are nice words, but obviously there is an issue we have to talk about. What happened? Motherfucking towel, brother. I know you're gonna talk. <laughs> he he looked at me and I sh and I nod my head. He wanted to give me freaking liquids in my body, so it ain't he... no fucking towel game. I said, yeah. do it, brother. Like that, let's get let, get me off this damn stage. He would have taken at least another 60 seconds to get off, get dressed, get undressed. Nope. 
not in that condition. If that's me, I'm doing what, for them what I want done for me, and that's to get me liquids ASAP. And so I'm come April, like, come April, do you want Max to hold the towel for you? Sure. Brother, this guy hey. should hold the towel for everybody. I was so fast. If you saw what you saw, then you're that's on you. You're as you're as nasty motherfucker, because you gotta get a pause it. Like we're talking split second here, so don't do that. Uh, question.